Hi friends, in this video we will learn about uh, what are the entry and exit criteria for user acceptance testing. What are the prerequisites which are very much required in order to start a UAT or how will you sign up the UAT that is the thing we will be covering in this video. First we will try to understand what are the entry criteria or prerequisites to start a uh, UAT testing. The sum of the entry criteria for starting uh, UAT is all your business requirements or business user stories which are approved. That is the first thing uh, we should validate it and also the completely the application is completely developed. That is the second uh, criteria it should meet in order to test UAT testing. The third one is all the testing related like uh, unit testing, integration testing, system, regression testing should be completed. Once uh, all the testings are done and all the defects are closed, that means no severity 1 and 2 are uh, open, then the UAT testing will start. Th that is a third uh, criteria it should work upon. The later point, RTM also should be completed and up to date. Uh, by ensuring that everything is covered as part of uh, requirement traceability matrix and there should be a sign off from the testing team as well. Internal testing team should sign off from their perspective that we have done all kind of testing and we are fine from our end. Once we receive sign off from the testing team, then there should be a UAT environment also to be ready because this is a separate environment where UAT testing team will be operating to test the application where environment to be ready with the, all the relevant test data as well. This is, now we will try to understand what are the exit criteria, post requisite uh, criteria. As we discussed earlier, in this case there are no S1, S2 is related to UAT plus any other pending defects which are related to S1, S2 should be fixed and if there is a case of S3 as well, if your company says that there should not be any S3 defect or medium defect, then even those defects should be fixed as part of the exit criteria in order to sign up the UAT. And also once everything is fine in terms of uh, functionality, there are no major stoppers, no eye, no medium defects, only minor or very trivial defects are uh, open which are still fine to release the product, then only UAT team should set up a sign up meeting where UAT team will discuss all the aspects of uh, defects, test cases, everything, then uh, they will start uh, representing uh, how the testing went through. Based on that, uh, the UAT team will uh, work with the, all the stakeholders and they provide the overall uh, sign off. These are the certain entry and exit criteria which we have to define as part of the UAT acceptance testing.